Last week in the Hurricanes season opener, brand new head coach Larry Coker made his debut an impressive one at State College, Pennsylvania. The Hurricanes racked up 602 yards in total offense. They did it on the ground and in the air. Ken Dorsey threw three touchdown passes, leading the Hurricanes to an easy 33-7 win over Penn State in the season opener. On defense, it was an impressive debut for defensive ends Andrew Williams and Jerome McDougal. In fact, the entire Hurricane front four had a good night against Penn State, constantly pressuring the Nittany Lion quarterbacks. The Hurricanes will open their home schedule against the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers. Their head coach is former UM defensive coordinator Greg Schiano. Schiano was a winner in his debut as a Division I head coach as the Scarlet Knights beat the University of Buffalo in their opener 31 to 15 behind 177 yards by Dennis Thomas. It's the Hurricanes and Rutgers coming up next here on Fox Sports Net. Today, the University of Miami Hurricanes host the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers in their first Big East matchup of the 2001 season. Dorsey's first throw, complete to Shockey, and he is dragged down after a gain of eight yards. The line, and here they come. Dorsey looks it out, complete to Ethnic Sands. He gets away at the 30. Ethnic Sands to the 40, and dragged down near midfield. Number 29, Ben Martin finally made the tackle, but that is a first down for the Hurricanes at their own 49-yard line. Weeks in motion toward the formation, the give to Portis. Portis busting through. Clinton Portis running hard down to the 32-yard line. Picks up a Miami first down. Brian Bender, number 42, making the tackle. Brian Cubitt, the pitch to Thomas. Looking for running room. Chris Campbell grabs him around the ankles. Loose football. Miami says they have it. We'll wait for the officials. And it is Miami football. Chris Campbell forced it. And Miami comes up with it. It looked like Ed Reed, number 20, the All-American, came up with the football. You called it. Chris Campbell looked like number 48 out of that linebacker spot. The strong side forces the fumble. And Miami fans have something to cheer about. A big turnover by the defense. You see the running back right there loses the football as he goes to the ground. DJ Williams also around the pile. I'm not sure who got it. Everybody's grabbing for it at the end. But Miami does have it. You see the official right there signaling for that defense. Ed Reed, number 20, came up with the recovery. He came away from the pile. So Miami, with the turnover, has it first and 10 at the Rutgers 40. Scrimmage. Pump fake. Wide open. Oh, deep down the sideline. Andre Johnson, touchdown Miami. A 40-yard strike from Ken Dorsey to Andre Johnson as he beat Tony Berry and the Kings lead it six to nothing. Ken Dorsey was licking his chops. He audible at the line of scrimmage to a pump and go. He's the most excited guy on the football field. He looked to the wide side first, and when he came back to the short side, nobody was around the fresh, the, the young wide receiver, number five, Andre Johnson, the sophomore. You see Dorsey couldn't believe his eyes when he saw him almost 10 yards beyond the cornerback, and Andre Johnson, that's probably the easiest touchdown he'll have all season long. Johnson picks up his first touchdown of the year, the second of his career. We'll be right back on Fox Sportsnet after this. Cubit pitches to Jones, fake reverse. Jones still has the football, and DJ Williams brings him down for a loss of three. A nice job by Mike Rump to seal off the outside, letting DJ Williams make the tackle. Use number 17, DJ Williams runs this thing down after the fake reverse. Watch DJ keep his feet, Mike Rump on the outside as the quarterback. Cubit, little dump off underneath, complete to Del Rico Fletcher, but Jonathan Vilma right there, and that's a a gain of only a yard on a third and 17 play. Dorsey, complete over the middle to Andre Johnson, gets away at the 35. There goes Andre Johnson. He's gone. He's turning on the Jets. Chased by Nick Cologne, and Cologne will run him down inside the Rutgers 20-yard line. Andre Johnson, after taking the, just a little slant, almost a delay outside, a split-end delay coming down the line. Nobody there when he catches the football. Man-to-man -man coverage, he makes two defenders miss, two Rutgers defenders. Now it's a foot race, and you think he's going to win it, but Nate Cologne gets on his horse and drags down the sophomore wide receiver, Andre Johnson, after a shot. He'll give it to Davenport. Davenport, end zone, touchdown Hurricanes. It's Najee all day, every day for a Hurricane touchdown with 2-12 left in the first quarter. They lead it 13 to nothing. Great. Into the tailback, Jones, and he is drilled by Vince Wilfork for a loss of a yard. Big double wide, Vince Wilfork, number 75, at 6'2", 346 pounds, the freshman from Santa Luzas. And that was in the Dwayne Johnson pr tradition, laying the smack down. Well, anytime somebody calls you double wide, I think you swell up and take pride in that. And that's what number 75, Vince Wolfork, just did the freshman, 6'2", 346. And that's very generous for, for you, Vince. But he 
the lateral to Delrico Fletcher. He's going to throw it deep. Miami has this thing red, and it's going to be an easy interception for the Hurricanes from James Lewis, number 23. There had to be something else off of it, a wet football fluttering, and you see right there, number 23, James Lewis with the interception, but also 20, Ed Reed in perfect position. It looked like the, the uh, referee was going to throw a flag, but call, called it incidental contact when Edward Reed got his legs tangled, tangled with the Rutgers wide receiver first of his career. Jared Payton and Willis McGahee. Now the back's behind Ken Dorsey. That's McGahee. McGahee, 25-30. Willis McGahee puts his head down and gets up to the 40-yard line. Dorsey against the four-man rush. Throws complete to Sands at midfield. Ethnic heads for the Rutgers sideline and goes out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Pitch to McGahee. Behind a Payton block. McGahee still going and finally tripped down at the 22-yard line. Shifting three tight ends to the near side. And a oh, fumble, and Miami's got it. Jonathan Gomez, Marcus Jones, could not handle the exchange from the quarterback, Cubitt, and Jonathan Vilma, who forced a fumble last week and was shorted by the Penn State stat crew. They credited McDougal with the forced fumble. It was Vilma last week, and you see the exchange just sloppy and Vilma pouncing on it. Again, Williams in motion. Dorsey with a play action. Dorsey with a rollout. End zone, touchdown, Jeremy Spoke. Jeremy Shockey spoke in the end zone today. It's 20 to nothing Miami. Shockey's second touchdown catch of the season. And decided to look to Jason Gathers. Didn't like that matchup. Watch, he goes progression. One outside, two no. He finds his third receiver trailing. That's his favorite receiver, Jeremy Shockey, for the sliding touchdown. As the Canes backs protect against the blitz, they pick it up well. Here's the throw, complete to Ethnic Sands. Out at the 45 yard line, he'll have a first down. Nate Jones on the coverage. Dorsey with play action. Nobody in the middle. Good protection, wide open. Kevin Beard at the 30. Beard comes back, still on his feet, and Kevin Beard inside the Rutgers 15-yard line before Bill Holman, number 45, 49, finally made the tackle at the 11-yard line. Freddie Capshaw with the hole. Seaver's kick is on the way, and it is good. And with three minutes exactly left to go in the second quarter, Miami has stretched their lead to 24 to nothing as Todd Seavers hits his fifth field goal of the season. Left in this first half, it's a 24-0 Miami lead. Receiver's kick. Jones at the one. Oh, is he smacked? Oh, Carl Walker looked like he was shot out of a cannon. Shot out of a cannon. Carl Walker was a bazooka. He's coming from the left side untouched. And you motions across the formation. Rutgers on a blitz, quick dump off to Sands for the 45-40. Ethnic Sands down the sideline, finally shoved out inside the Rutgers. 30-yard line, Dwayne Thompson pushed Ethnic Sands out of bounds, but that's a great play against the Blitz, John. And it's Capshaw puts it down. Seavers' kick is on the way, and it is good. From 40 yards away, Todd Seavers converts his sixth field goal of this young season, and Miami leads at 27-0 with 28 seconds left to go in the second quarter. And John, I guess, and now a direct snap to Trez Moses wide receiver and he's going to go down back at the 31 yard line that's a loss of a yard mike rump number eight coming up from the cornerback position number eight to make the tackle along with help from dj williams 17. from jerry andre to make it four receivers on this side that's a lateral pass complete to smith he dropped the ball al marshall there to make the tackle beautifully read by marquise fitzgerald who forced smith to drop the football and then can't stand this play when you go throw a lateral behind the line of scrimmage. Only bad things can happen, especially when you're playing a tough, aggressive team like Miami. You see number 27 was the first guy there. Marquise Fitzgerald doing a nice job in the Rutgers' backfield. Dorsey, three-step drop. Wide no open. Line. Jeremy Shockey's got it. There goes Shockey. 30. Jeremy cuts back to the middle, and he's right down at the Rutgers' 10-yard line. Sean Seabrook saved the touchdown for the time being. Get the Portis. Portis to the end zone, touchdown, Clinton Portis. Nice cutback by Clinton Portis for a three-yard touchdown run. 8.44 left to go third quarter. It's now 33-0 Kings with the extra point attempt upcoming. All touchdown of the season. We'll take a break. It's Miami 34, Rutgers nothing here at the end. Good snap. Barr gets it away. Driving Buchanan back to his own 45-yard line. Buchanan, taking it right up the middle. Buchanan, he might go. Will it Buchanan to the end zone with a punt return for the touchdown of 55 yards. Unofficially, it may be closer to 56. We'll check, but with 325 left to go, Philip Buchanan doing his best Santana Moss impression, running it back for a touchdown.
touchdown. That's exactly right. He's doing a great interpretation of little number six going down the middle on special teams for a touchdown. Great job by Philip Buchanan and a couple great blocks. It looked like Kellen Winslow Jr. also with a big block down the middle of the football field. You see everybody working hard. They've been doing that all afternoon on special teams. It just takes a little time for Philip Buchanan to pick a whole great block there by number 93, John Square. And then it's off to the races down the middle, Buchanan for six. Fitzgerald with the sack and a fumble. Here's John Square to pick it up and he'll score a Miami touchdown. A Miami team which scored eight defensive touchdowns last year has their first of 2001 as Marquise Fitzgerald, the nickel, came on the blitz. Mark Field, nobody there to pick him up. You got to get rid of the football. You see Fitzgerald throwing the football out around the five-yard line. 93 square, the defensive end picks it up and rumbles in for the touchdown. But that's got to be on the quarterback. He's got to get rid of the football. Nobody there. Too many defenders coming in and not enough guys in white jerk. Four-man rush. Trying to set up a screen to Cook. Cook with the catch. And he's brought down by Marquise Fitzgerald. Lost the football. And Vince Wilford picks it up for the Hurricanes. Double wide got it. Double wide got it. Trump bobbled the snap. Loose football. Miami's got it. Fifth turnover of the day for the Hurricanes. Howard Clark comes up with the football. The football, but he'll do it on first down. Against the blitz. Derek steps up and he'll take off. And Crudup still going. Derek Crudup. He's down to the 10 yard line. Tried to avoid the turnover. There's Frank Gore. Gore must be great. great. And Frank Gore will have his first touchdown as a Miami Hurricane as he scores from 10 yards out. And that almost looked easy. It Miami 54, Rutgers nothing. Frank Gore scoring on a 10 yard touchdown run for the Hurricanes. We'll be back with 11.05 to play right after this. Gore again with the football. He's got room. Frank Gore to the 40. Midfield. Rutgers 35-yard line, bounced out of bounds by Dwayne Thompson. Gore again after a 35-yard gain. Nice cut to the inside, still going. And Ben Martin takes him down to save the touchdown at the 15-yard line as Gore picks up another 19. Back-to-back -back runs of 35 and 19 yards for Frank Gore. That's a this is Jared Payton, touchdown oh, yeah. Hurricane. Jared Payton with a five-yard touchdown run, and Miami extends their lead to 60 to nothing. I believe. And Larry Coker walks away with victory number two. So the Miami Hurricanes come away with a 61 to nothing victory. Greg Schiano and Larry Coker shaking hands at midfield. It was easy for the Canes. They go to 2-0 with Washington coming in next week. We'll be back to wrap it up from the Orange Bowl after this.